Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Now it's late, so this will go from January 21st through the 25th. Okay, so um, let's jump into it. I already have pulled the cards for the sake of time and the fact that I have to do 12 of these. Okay, so Aries in love. Uh, you like my little sign? Ah, got pink for Aries. Aries, for love, we have the Four of Cups. We have the Magician. Alright, so some of you, you may be dealing with someone who's already in a commitment uh, they live with or they're already in something that they have established for themselves, some foundation they have established. But you're what they may be doing is telling you that they're unhappy or they're bored or they want out. And Aries, what you're doing is you're saying, okay, well, what can I do? How can I play my cards right in order to get either what I want or the want may be that some of you want this person to shift course. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries like yourself, Virgo, or Gemini. So somebody's bored and they may be just playing around with you. And it might be the same energy where you know exactly where you stand with this person it seems like both of you guys have like ulterior motives like this person is telling you so, well I'm bored I'm dissatisfied I'm not content with my marriage and you know they go on and on about how they feel and you're like okay yeah so I'm trying to figure out how this best works out for me I'm going to play my cards right and be everything that this person doesn't have at home some of you are just trying to manifest a new home and you're you may be just trying to use every resource whether that is your own resources or resources that may come in the form of other people people that can help you're trying to shift course here you may have just moved out of a home okay so that's in love that could be what is going on you want someone to move out of the home you just moved out of a home both of you guys have your own you know motive here I don't think it's malicious but it's, it's definitely well how can I play my cards right to get exactly what I want from this particular person and that's that might be how they are viewing you like I need to keep this person right where I want to keep them so I'm saying I'm doing whatever it is um, I can do to keep them there let's see what career and finance looks like all right temperance and the two of swords all right so some of you need to balance out your work life with your I'm 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 looking at this as maybe like your leisure life your party time um some of you are already thinking about that too it's like less commitment on one side and it says that you need to make the commitment to either work or party it's up to you uh so that you can have what it is you really want um some of you are just really juggling trying to balance or trying to find balance in work and career it says you're at a stalemate about this job it's not enough money it draws on you emotionally or it just draws your energy so you're really at a crossroads mentally not actually taking any action here but like can I do something different? Should I go back to school? What should I do? Um, I need to move away from. I need to make significant change. I don't know what that could be. But definitely needing to make significant change. 
It says that, um, don't worry, there might be a repayment of money or someone may give you good advice in regards to your career, finances. Uh, someone may help balance things out for you. Seeing that you're kind of off kilter or you're trying to stay on track in regards to career and finance. It says that someone may even come to you and, and apologize here also. Or, or a peace offering gift. Uh, someone sees the struggle and uh, they may help out. Wow, Prince of Pins Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, might someone may give you a small gift of money here. Could be a manly figure, fatherly figure, someone who just wants to genuinely help. Let's see what the advice is. So it's supposed to be two one card of advice, but we have two cards that fell out for you, Aries. So forgiveness, okay. So, like I said, someone may be coming to you asking for an uh, apology or forgiveness. And it says, if you believe. If you believe, you can manifest whatever it is you want. Some of you are trying to manifest a new home. Or you're trying to manifest someone um, to do exactly what it is you want them to do. If you believe, you can have what it is you want. Aries, I hope that this week turns out well for you. Use people as a resource. You know, people don't know what you're going through unless you tell them. So you might have to, you have to speak. Play your cards right in regards to some position. Maybe with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they can help you or they will help you. Hmm. Yeah, interesting week, Aries. Not too, too crazy. Balance out your work life here. Some of you are drinking a lot. Lots of balance needs to happen here. Some of them may come in and help you. This could be a friend. This could be a, a love, a romantic person. Okay, all right. So take care, Aries. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. If you do not want to book your own reading, you can take advantage of the $5 one question uh, via text message. The number is below. You text the number, you get instructions of how to uh, present your question, pay for your question, all on your mobile device. Uh, thank you, Aries. Take care.